How to use Google Finance Investment Tracker. Hello and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Google Finance Investment Tracker. Make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss any steps. So if you need to create accounts on Google Finance Investment Tracker, you can use my affiliate links in the description. I'll earn a small commission at no extra cost to you, and you might also receive rewards or discounts by signing up through these links. So without further ado, let us begin. Okay, so once you're in the Google Finance website, what we want to do first is to create a portfolio. So to do that, what you want to do is go to New Portfolio right here and then just simply click on it. There you go. Afterwards, just input your portfolio name. So I'll just make the name My Investments and then there you go. And then once you're done, click on Save. And then there you go. So we are now in our portfolio. So as of now, it is currently empty. So to add your investments, just simply click on add investments right here. And then from here, just choose the stock, ETF, index, mutual fund, or currency that you want to keep a track on. So as an example, I want to keep track with NVIDIA Corp right there. So I'll just click on it. And then let's say you've bought some stocks from NVIDIA Corp. So what you want to do from here is you just simply input the quantity on how much stocks did you buy from NVIDIA. So let's say I bought around 20 stocks and then just input your purchase date right here. So let's say I purchased NVIDIA stocks around March 1. And there you go. And then, and then it will automatically add the purchase price on that purchase date. So there you go. And then if you want to add more purchases on NVIDIA, so just simply click on it. There you go. And then let's say I bought another 10 stocks around, let's say, around March 7. There you go. And then it will add the purchase price as well. So you can add more of these to your liking. And then once you're done, just simply click on Save. And then there you go. So as you can see that we can now see the stocks for NVIDIA right here. So in here, we have this graph on how well the stocks are doing within NVIDIA Corp. So as you can see, it's a bit, it goes up and down. But as you can see around this date right here, it went up significantly. So yeah, there you go. And then at the top right here, you can also filter out the dates for the stock. So you can filter it out with, within one day, within five days, within a month, six months, years, um, one year, five years, and the max years. So yeah, feel free to I'll filter this section out to your liking. And then at the bottom right here, you can also compare this, the stock that you bought with other stocks like SMP and etc. etc. So you can scroll around right here. So let's say I want to compare the NVIDIA stock with Wilshire right here. So I'll just click on it. And then there you go. So as you can see, it will now show you the difference between the two stocks right there. So for NVIDIA, I have invested at this date like 144 thousand philippine pesos but for wilshire it is thirty eight thousand three hundred sixty three pesos so yeah you can add more comparisons if you want to or you can just simply clear all if you want to remove it at the bottom right here is you have this section um so in here you have investments so you will see all of your investments right here and then within your investments when you click on these three dots right here you can add another purchase so let's say you've bought one recently or just a while ago, you can just click on it and then you can add another one. So let's say I bought um, NVIDIA stock today and then I bought a quantity of 10. So just simply click on save and then there you go. It will now update on its own. What you can also do is delete it. So yep. So if you sold all of your stock within NVIDIA and you don't want to track it anymore, you, you could just simply delete it from here. After that, we have this arrow right here. So basically what this does, this, this will just show you all of your previous purchases by the dates so i told you guys that i i bought one around march 1 so this is the purchase date for that and how much i bought same goes for march 7 and march 30th and then you can also delete these um individually as well and then at the bottom right here you can also discover more stocks so if you want to invest in some other stocks you can check them out right here same goes with these ones at the bottom as well Moving on, if you want to add more investments to your Google Finance Tracker, you can do so just by clicking on this plus button right here, which says investments. So I'll just click on it. There you go. And then let's say I want to buy stock on Tesla. 
I'll just click on it and then there you go. Afterwards, let's say I bought 50 stocks from Tesla and then I'll just add a purchase date around March 25. And then there you go, that is the purchase price around that date. And then I'll just simply click on save to add it to my list and then there you go. Next, what you can also do is visualize. So when I click on visualize right here, it will show a visual representation of my stocks. So it says right here, the size of each box represents the total value of the investment in your portfolio. So the color represents today's return. So if it's red, it, that is bad. If it's pink, it's, it's bad, but not as bad as the red one. And then if it's light pink or light red, it's still bad, but not as bad between these two. And then if it's zero, it's neutral. If it's light green, it's good. If it's this green, it's also good. And then if it's this dark green, it is really good. And then if you want to go back to the list, just simply click on list right there. And then you will see this list view again. Next, beside investments right here is we have activity. Um, so in here, we will just get to see the activity of the investments that we added right here in Google Investment Tracker. So as you can see, I, it says right there that I bought NVIDIA stocks right, right here on this date. Same goes with the Tesla and the rest of the NVIDIA stocks. Next, we have news and events. Um, so in here, we will get to see the news and events relating to the stocks that we bought. So as you can see right here in our news and events, we have news about NVIDIA, news about Tesla, and so on. Moving on, at the right side over here, is we have portfolio highlights. Um, so in the portfolio highlights, we will get to see how much money we have gained through our investments or how much money we have lost through our investments. Um, so in our day gain, so this gain is only applicable for today's date. So I have lost 31,000 Filipino pesos. And then for the total gain of all in all, I have lost almost 90,000 Philippine pesos. And then at the bottom right here, we will get to see like a detailed view of what we have invested on. So this one right here that says stocks, it says right here, this is the percentage of your portfolio that is invested in different asset types. Next is large companies. So a valuation method that multiplies the price of a company's stock by the total number of, out of outstanding shares. Next is 25% low dividend investments. So this is a ratio that estimates how much a company will pay out in dividends each year compared to its stock price. And then we have high PE investments. So the ratio of current share price to trailing 12 month earnings per share or EPS that signals if the price is high or low compared to other stocks. So yeah. And then at the top right here, so we have these three dots. So when I click on this, you can change the view right here to a watch list if you want to. So this is what the watch list looks like. So it's much more compact, but I really prefer the portfolio since it looks cleaner and looks better in my opinion. So yeah. And then what you can also do from here is update your currency. So let's say you want to change the currency to USD. You can do that right here. So I'll just look for USD right now. There you go, United States dollars. So I'll just click on it, click on save. And then there you go. Everything has now been converted into USD. Moving on, you can also copy the portfolio, rename your portfolio, or just simply delete your portfolio. Moving on at the top right here is we can create a new list. So if you want to create a new list, just simply click on new list. And then there you go. So just add your list name. So let's say I want to add this list and name it for crypto. So I'll just click on save. And then there you go. We now have our new list. So I'll just click on add investments right here. And then let's say I want to add Bitcoin. So I'll just click on this. And then there you go. We now have Bitcoin as our investment. So yeah, so you can separate all of your inv investments by your list. So you can separate like your investments in stocks, investments in crypto, and investments in any other, in anything else. So yeah, so as you can see right here, we can also see other related um, cryptocurrencies right here, like Ethereum, the Dogecoin, and etc. So let's say I just want to add the Ethereum coin right there. Same goes with the Dogecoin. And then there you go, it is now added into our list. So in here, same settings still apply, so you can change the view. So I want this to be a portfolio view. And then there you go, it is now in portfolio view. And then we can now add the quantities right here on how much Bitcoin we bought. So let's say, for example, I bought 10 Bitcoin. There you go. 
for the Dogecoin, let's say I bought around 1,000. There you go. And then for Ethereum, let's say I bought around 20. And then there you go. And then same setting still applies with the first one that we made. So again, from here, you can get to see your activity, the news and events, discover more assets right here, change the visuals, add more investments, and etc. etc. And then after that, you are pretty much done. So if you want to delete your portfolio, again, go to the three dots right here, click on delete, and then it says right here, delete this portfolio. It says that this listing contains two investments will be deleted. So yep, I'll just delete it. And then there you go, it is now deleted. So let's say um, I want to do this as well with my crypto investments. I'll just click on these three dots, click on delete, click on delete again. And then there you go, everything is now gone. And then after that, you are pretty much done. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to use Google Finance Tracker. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more tech tips. That is all.